In this video, we are going to do two things. The first thing is to add some links to each of our articles. And I'm referring to these action links where you can either trash the article, edit it, or visit the related post page for that article. The second thing we are going to do in this video is to make the table responsive to mobile devices. So let us first begin with the links. As usual, the first thing we'll do is to add the HTML for the links before styling them. Okay, so inside the title, uh, the title where we have the title for each post on the table, just under that link, we are going to add a div element with a class of TD action links. And this div element is going to hold all our three links. So one of them is going to be uh, the trash link. We'll give it a class of trash. And the title of the on the link is going to be trash. And as you can see here, um, we are separating each of the link items with a vertical line. So I'm going to provide a span element after each link. We'll give that span element a class of inline divider and it will basically have the vertical character. So the next link is going to be the edit link. So we'll give it a class of edit and the text on the link is going to read edit. Okay, and then after that, we'll also add the divider. And the last link is going to be the related posts link. And we're going to leave the class edit on the link for that but we'll change the title to related posts. So I assigned both of them the same R class because on the finished project, they have the same star that is the same color. So we just leave the same class uh, for both of them. All right, so since we have two records on our table, we'll make sure we copy this and paste it under the other post title. Okay, so that is it. Let us move on to the styling right now. So we go to our, first of all, let's copy this, the class name, and then we go to our admin styles. So we are going to continue under the styles for tables. So at the very bottom of those styles, we are going to grab our admin table, which is the class that covers our table. We don't need to go too specific again with our select our selector. We can just directly put uh, the TD action links since we are very sure that this will always be inside our admin table. All right, let's take a look at the at what our HTML looks like. Okay, so the first thing is we don't want the text to be as big as the title itself. So we are going to reduce the font size. And then secondly, we want to give some space between the title at the top and then the uh, links themselves at the bottom. So, okay, let's do that. We are going to say our uh, margin top. We'll give it a margin top of 10 pixels. And that should give us the space we need, okay? And then the next thing we are going to select is the link within each of the uh, titles. So we'll just select a link and give it a font size of 0 0.89 rem refresh okay and it's a little smaller than the title now we can give each of the links their appropriate colors uh, starting with the trash so i'm going to copy this link paste it under and then we are selecting the link element that has a class of trash we give it a color of this color a reddish kind of color and then We'll do the same thing. We copy it and we select a link element that has class of edit. And then we'll give it a color of this color. Okay, so let us go to our browser and refresh. And it is looking like what we have on the finished project, except that our vertical lines are, um, for this uh, project, our vertical lines are looking a little too dark. So let us uh, change their colors. 
so this is going to be like a kind of general class um we gave it a class of inline divider so let us go to the default section and uh, we define a new class inline uh, divider and we'll give it a color of this color that I prepared in the background and then we'll give it a bit of a margin on both sides so zero pixels top and bottom and then four pixels to the left and four four pixels to the right refresh and it looks like the finished project now okay we can now move on to making our table responsive which is going to be basically one line of css code so what we will do is we are going to wrap our entire table around a div and give that div a class of responsive table okay so let's copy the entire table from the opening table tag to the closing uh, table tag I cut it and I paste it inside the div we just added okay and then that's all we copy the CSS uh, class and we may be able to we may need to use this in many different places so we'll classify this as a default or general star so again just under the last default star we added we are going to add responsive table and we'll do overflow x and give it a value of o2 and that is all now i'm going to comment this out and then let us view the table in the mobile in the mobile view so we reduce the screen size and on very small uh, devices you cannot see beyond the views or uh, column but if you give it an overflow of x on the uh, div that wraps the table and you refresh okay you will be able to scroll left and right and see all the, the entire table yeah even though it's going to be even though it's going to be a little bit uh, compact but at least you'll be seeing everything and you'll be able to click on every uh, button all right okay so that's it for the responsiveness of the table in the next video we will proceed to work on uh, on the pagination links i believe all right see you in the next video